Hello, this is not Markiplier. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> All right. Ah, more with the fucking mod reviews. Z-4266. And if you're a foreigner, it's uh, Z-4266 because you say things fucked up. Eh? Uh, eh? Foreigner is a relative term. Sucks. They're sucks. Uh, anyway. Um, you know, you don't need to scream book. into your microphone. Listen. <laughs> All right, you stay on that side of the stream. I'll stay on this side of the stream. Well, I, I'm trying to, but right, your so, uh, your audio levels will peak the right through the fucking roof the way you were talking. Really? Yeah, I, I had to manually adjust your audio. You don't think that maybe that's what I was trying? What to get it to peak? <laughs> well, I mean, I guess if yeah. that's what you were hey. wanting, it sounded like shit. Anyway, so let's take a look at this mod. Um, I have downloaded it. Uh, I've kind of peeked around at it. I have not driven it. have not looked through any of the options for it. So we're just going to kind of roll on. Uh, let's see. It's got a four liter V8 engine. I don't know how that's, uh, possible, but 800 Newton, some foreigner of torque and 302 horsepower. Four stroke bare minimum for smaller loads. 6.9 liter four stroke diesel six cylinder. 1200 to 1600 Newton meters of torque. For Newton some. I know it's Newton some, but anyway, perfect for most jobs. Um, putting out 2100 to 2300 Newton sums of torque. For this engine's size. So we're going to go with that one because, you know, if I'm going to give it the beans, I'm going to give it all the beans. High range, off road, we're always going to go with off road. Um, suspension, don't have any upgrades there. Tires, got some pretty decent tires. They're all 51s though, so pretty much pick and choose what you want. Two options for chain tires. Honestly, I don't know what's different about them. Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea. Uh, we're going to go with these. They look good. Winch, stock heavy, extended heavy, advanced heavy. Offline winch. And go with the extended heavy. Engageable diff lock. Uh, normally I really don't like going with the spare tires. Oh, yeah, that, there you go. That works out. Puts it underneath the body. Hell yeah. I'm going to go with the spare tire. That's the way I want to do it. These modders uh, really need we... to get the fuck off of adding 675 options for fucking tires. Well, this truck that we're doing now, which is the Z4266, doesn't have 400 options worth of tires. It actually only has about 15 options, and they're all the same size. Um, so you can put a crane on this one. Flatbed, of course. Oh, you can put a rollback on it. That's pretty neat. Um, of course, we already know that the rollback doesn't work that well. And a cargo bed. Um, Josh, you go with a cargo bed or something flatbed or something. I'm going to do a saddle high and I'm going to grab that big ass trailer and I'm going to see how it pulls it. Okay. All right. Can do. So that's, uh, that's it for frame add-ons, uh, rear bumper. You basically get a DOT bar. One's down, one's up. Bump bumper. You get a brush guard, no brush guard. Looks stupid, so that works out. Flasher light grill. Sure. Yeah, let's do that. Big toolkit. So that's gonna that toolbox is gonna take away the uh, spare tire and it's just gonna be a toolbox. 
Then you have the small toolbox, which once again, both of those are going to take away a spare tire. <sighs> I finally decided to put a spare tire. Oh, actually, you know what? We're going to do the big toolkit, yes. And then we're going to go back to the spare wheel menu, and we're going to put them back here because I'm doing a saddle high. And then we're going to go back here. Go back. Exhaust is where we were. We don't have any exhaust options. And we have two dubs choices, and they both suck. All right. Paint. Standard colors. Not one of them's clean. I like a clean truck. All of these look dirty. Not too impressed so far by this truck at all. Better be a hell of a puller. I'm gonna probably just go with yellow because it does look like a state truck, so might as well go with state colors. Yeah, yellow. Um, of course, you still have all the normal bobbleheads. Uh, quite a bit of mirror hangers here, but we don't have a mirror, so yeah. And that's it. So no exterior customizations. So this truck is done. So I'm going to leave the garage. I'm going to pull over here. I'm going to grab me a trailer. Let's see what happens with it. Now, just off of uh, basic sight, before we grab a trailer, the all-wheel drive is always on, and diff lock is engageable. So it's always all wheel drive and the diff lock is engageable. Uh, all right, let's see here. I'm looking for this really big trailer. So immediately, just my immediate first taste of this feels pretty good. Feels like it turns in the radius that it was intended to turn in. It's not overly slow. I can put all the way up to the spare tire, which is SOP. Pulling the trailer around just the way you want it to. Yeah, feels pretty good. We're gonna shut it off. We're gonna wait for uh, old Joshy Poo. Let's see what this thing will put out. How are you doing, Josh? Not too bad. Um, is, your day go is your day going all right? Yeah, I'm just kind of going through and fucking with the options that are available to me. Building out this truck. Let's see what, what's in the interactive menu for this truck. So we'll go ahead and start the engine. Attach wrench, detach trailer, stop engine, change truck, recover, turn off beacons, refuel, repair, and remove cargo. So nothing too abnormal in the interactive menu there. Good job. That's a big fucking trailer. 
Yep. Your, uh, your flash rolls are wrong. Do we even have flashes? Oh, yeah, they're right there in the grill, huh? Yeah. Getting a trailer? What are we doing? Yeah, I was flipping through, just looking to see about grabbing one. Now with the flatbed on this one, I can't pull the uh, monstrosity that you've got, but uh, with the flatbed, I can still pull pull one off the trailer hitch. So. Let's see here for missions. Two concrete blocks, four small pipes, four wooden planks. So where do we go to get all of that? Uh, offhand, I have no idea. It's been a little while since we actually even tried running missions in Canada, so... Uh, which mission are you pulling up, by the way? Now I'm gonna go back to the top one, which is this one. Uh... Six bricks, three Factory concrete reservoir. slabs, three metal beams... Sorry, sorry, four metal beams and three small pipes. So we're now following that one. I think, right? Uh, I don't know. It's not showing up as a... as the selected one. Oh, I guess you've got to start tracking it or something. Yep, I've already started tracking it. So we... So what's in this warehouse here? You go to the warehouse that's to our right that's real close. I'm going to go to the warehouse that's far away. We'll figure out what, uh... Unless you just want to come with me for the hell of it. I don't care. I want, well, I mean, it would be nice to just kind of stick together. There, we're going to start tracking. I can do this one. All right. So. We've got to go to the warehouse off to the left here. And, yeah, I can grab the one, grab some stuff from the warehouse on the right. Or I can wait for you and you can come with me. Your call, boss. Um, well, given that we haven't driven these trucks yet, why don't we stick together just in case you need some, some help getting through some stuff. I'm not sure how good these trucks are going to be with uh, dealing with the obstacles of this map. Well, this truck has a working speedometer and tachometer. The crew cab features to it look very good. It actually almost looks almost like a that that newer international truck that they're using for um, a snow plows now. You know what, which one I'm talking about? Uh, I'm not familiar with it, no. But it doesn't seem like it's too far off from. Uh uh, the GMC Sierras, which are pretty popular around here in Michigan. Yeah. And also, too, that this, this truck does have two cameras. It has the, or three cameras. It has the first-person camera, the outside camera, and then it also has a trailer camera. And... I think 
that's pretty universal with uh, trucks, even the stock trucks in the game. Oh, is it? Yeah. When you've got a trailer attached, that you'll get a, a trailer camera. So, I just got tired of going slower than shit, so I just kicked it up in a high gear. Now I'm rolling a little bit. But I don't know if it's going to try and stall out or not. 80 gallon fuel tank, I've already burned 9 gallons. Now it looks like I'm getting, I don't know, 5 gallons a minute average. Maybe 3.5 average. We're built pretty similar. I'm getting 2.8 gallons a minute going through the mud that I've got I'm right in, now. I'm in high gear. Oh, yeah. That's probably why I pulled away from you there. Yep. And neither one of us is engaged in our diff lock either. Correct. This mod really is keeping with kind of the vanilla of the game. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would, I'm going to have to agree with you on that one. It's a nice option for something different to drive. Um, doesn't seem to have too much of an issue so far with what we've gone through, but uh, I can see this thing getting stuck in some of the situations that we've been in before where it's going to have a bit of a struggle. What are you grabbing? You got, you're grabbing some metal beams. Yeah, I'm looking at metal beams. How many, do we need metal beams for this mission? Um, metal beams is calling for two. Okay. And metal beams take up four spots on the trailer. Uh, each set of metal beams takes up two spaces a piece. So yeah, it'll be four total for you. We've got plenty of space with that monstrosity of a trailer. Should be seven slots on this trailer, correct? I don't know. It looks like it, though. Yeah. It's really not enjoying this at all. You're just kind of going uphill. It's not even really that muddy. But I can tell, at least. Yeah, so I'm spinning just going uphill. Keep in mind you're still in automatic and you don't have your diff lock on. All right, so. All right, here I have bricks, metal rolls, small pipes, fuel, cement, and metal beams. So, and consumables. So what else do we need for this job, sir? Um, we do need four small pipes, four concrete blocks, two concrete slabs. Nope, and I, I guess we got to make two cabins, so that's going to be way up where... I'm going to get four... Um... Yep, I'm full, so... You're going to have to take your flatbed in here and get two more small pipes. All right. Make sure that I'm out of your way because you're going to have to reverse out of there, aren't you? Yep. I'm working on getting a swing so I can back this trailer into that hole to your right, it would be. I'm sitting over the, uh, the spot where you picked up those metal beams at. That where you're trying to dig into, or no? Nope. Just gonna swing right into the water. Uh, there's a little bit of flat lane right before the water. It looks like. I can't really. Oh no! I'm just gonna go right into the water then. 
those small pipes, those are taking up two slots each. I guess. I may only be able to carry those two then. Can I have the jackknife to go to this spot here? You want to just plow that tree over right there, or are you going to try to cut it all away? I'm going to cut it all away. All right, sir, it's all you. I'm going to go away. I wouldn't take that trailer up there with you. Oh, you have to, don't you? Because you only um, have two yeah. spots on that bed. Yep, I'm going to have to. Did you, did you put a crane on that truck or no? Not. Hmm. I love how every time we start this game, it becomes night instantly. It always seems that way, doesn't it? All right, small pipes. I got one there. And one on the trailer. I'm full. So, right, well. let's talk about this complete disaster that I find myself in all the damn time because I have no fucking clue how to back these things up in life. life of me. Where are we supposed to be? Can I live on this too? Um, so it looks like we've got to run off to what it's saying is Big Salmon Peak and deliver two cabins. So I'm guessing that these parts are going to be to build the cabins, which the only place that I'm aware of that we've done that before is way up on the north side of the map, um, the cabin construction site right over to your right on the map where you're looking 10 seconds ago. Alright, well, do it now, or look down, that way I can... Oh, do it, uh, oh cabin to the right, did you to say? the right. The right? Move your map view to the right. Your other right. Oh, I'm going to do my left. That, that would be your right. Now it's to, to the north of you. Up on the screen. Yeah, see, when you move to the left, that's when you're getting all the black coming in on the left side. There you go. Now go up. Stop spinning the map around and... Alright. Just, just stop. Stop. When it zooms in and zooms back out, tell me, and then we're on the same fucking page. Okay. All right, you're zooming in now. And Zoom back out real out. quick. All right, so on the right-hand side of your screen, there's a gateway to Big Salmon Peak. Yep. Move over to that. That would be the direction in the right. Now you're on Big Salmon Peak. Down from where you're at, directly above where it says uh, the right stick to rotate and zoom on the menu of the screen, is the spot on the map that you're looking for. Right here. Cabin construction site. That's right here, right? Yep. Yep. So we've got to go. We're going. Yeah, we've got to go back there to build these two cabins to take to Big Salmon Peak. So pipes build cabins? Oh, uh, plumbing. Oh, how 
nobody can do that with fucking 60 gallons of fuel. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. Because this mod truck is very much on the, uh, on par with vanilla, um, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab another one of my heavy vehicles and I'll wench tow uh, my truck and I'll bring some fuel with us. Mm, no, no, I don't think that's what we're going to do, sir. Why is that? Mod truck can't do it by itself, then that's the end of the review. And we move on to the next truck, you know what I mean? Alright, well, alright. Because you could just, you could just unhook that trailer, seriously, like at the, uh, we could both unhook our trailers at the damn garage and just sell these fucking trucks and get a different one and continue well, sure. on, you know what I mean? I'm going to need to get a truck with a crane on it to get the, uh, the pipes off the back end of the flatbed on this truck, though. I get rid of it. Isn't that cap front loader still out there, though? Up by where the construction site is? I have no idea if it's th still there on your game or not. I don't know why it wouldn't be. Say what? I said I don't know why it wouldn't be. I have no idea if you've done anything outside of us to do playing together, I would, I seriously doubt that that's the case, but I also don't recall what you Josh, did with any of your turn, trucks last time. I don't even turn my Xbox on when we're not playing together. Well, that's fair. We've been watching YouTube off of, off of the TV now, because the TV has the YouTube app on it. Yeah, I just got yourselves one of them there smart TVs. Yeah, I couldn't see the 45 inch, so we went out and got a 70. <laughs> and now I can read words on the screen. Am I going like incredibly slow for you? Oh yeah. But yeah, to be so fair, I'm also going incredibly slow and not really catching up on you. Oh, okay. Well, that's what I was asking. Like, if you were catching <laughs> up on me, then I am a little I'm, bit. But, uh, I'm pulling a heavy ass load, and this truck is not liking any bit of it. Yeah, you you've got quite a bit more weight than I've got, and I mean, this truck really does not like it. I'm kind of uh, curious because you can put a saddle high on the wrecker. I'm kind of curious to see what it would do with that. Cause that fucking wrecker is just about indestructible. You know, to be that honest with you, I have absolutely no idea whether or not it has saddles. Record. I know, I know it does. I sold it. Oh, it does. Yeah. You could minimize my screen and pull up our uh, the the mod video that's already on YouTube and scroll through it real quick and find out if it does for sure, because I showcased it on that when I did the heavy record. Oh, the the heavy record, not the the medium record that we were just do, that we uh, reviewed Actually, last time. that's. That's really not the bad, not a bad idea either. Because remember, I told you I was going to use the shit out of that truck. I just wasn't going to use it as a heavy wrecker. Okay, that, cool. Because the, the, the last time you and I talked about it, when we were going over the mods, I was saying that I was going to keep the heavy record just because the truck actually worked, just not for what its designed purpose was. And Are we talking about the same record? The heavy record. The okay. big motherfucker yeah. that you were playing with that I didn't really do anything with. Yeah. Yeah, that one has a four slot bed on it, so you can put four things on the bed of that truck and then pull a trailer. Okay. Um, I was talking about keeping that one, and by the sounds of what you were saying when we were talking about the mods the last time you and I were discussing it, um didn't sound like you wanted to keep that one around, so I went ahead and deleted that mod on my end. Well, we didn't delete it. We just unsubscribed to it. Well, yeah, but it also removes it from your console. Mm, it did not on mine. And where are you at? Uh, almost to the bridge. For some reason, you actually were able to pick up quite a bit more speed than I was over that part. Well, I think I caught traction on the bridge and just kind of left you. That could be it. 
Yeah, I'm coming over the bridge now. Are there headlights on? I see it now. I'm here. Yeah, go ahead, go. So I know that we're not going to make it there because I have a half a tank of fuel now, so... Yeah, well, there, are, there yeah. also is that gas station that's not too terribly I far away, but I don't know if we're going to make it to the gas station. station. All right, and you're going slower than shit. Well, yeah, I was sitting there waiting. Yeah, and I'm in auto. Let me try and kick it up in high and see if this truck will stop, stall. Oh, it's pulling it. Wow, I'm relatively impressed. I thought it was going to stall out. Probably will now that I'm about to go into the mud, though. It's not gonna do it. It's not giving any kind of stall indication. I'm averaging about three nine a minute right now. I got four six four eight. Yeah, I'm I'm almost five now, but I'm pulling a fucking hill in high. And it's still not giving an indication of stalling, though. When yeah, I, I just let mine up to high, too, just to see if I can try to keep up. You know well, what? It's, it's weird. You're pulling more weight than I am, but for some reason, you're getting through these areas faster than me. Yeah, that truck hasn't even tried to stall out yet. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm relatively impressed at that. Yeah, it's, it's chugging right along. I'm losing a Using lot of wheel speed here, though. Ton of fuel, though. Yeah, I'm almost averaging five, five a minute now. Oh, here it goes. It's about to stall. No, I didn't fucking do it. Amazing. Yeah, it's still not stalling. I'm literally making no forward progress. Give me a little push, push. A little push, push. A little push, push. A little push, push. Ryan, it's not really doing much. I'm in low gear and turned on my diff lock. There we go. Yeah, I just flipped over in the low and turned on my diff lock too. That damn pole, too, aren't I? Yes, sir. Cop. Give me a shove from the right side to the left. Kind of push me around that the pole a little bit. I didn't really prep that turn very well. No, not really. All right, let me back up. Might need to winch from the back end of your trailer. No, nah, I can get around it. I just have to break prep my turn because I didn't before. It must be hitting Shit. on you, or right? No, 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 no. Yep, that's... I guess it's a good thing I kept a trailer that had side rails on it, because otherwise I would have just lost my cargo. My 
dolly or uh, the, my trailer was kicked off on a weird angle when you were backing up and when you kept backing up it just pushed me right over oh, i'm 100 high center i'm it's pushing like but i don't gear. think i'm getting you anywhere let me find a winch point oh hey we have reasonable fucking winch in here Golden. Well, that's uh, really the only thing about this trailer that I wish was different. I wish it had that tag axle that's in the front. I wish it was a little bit further up. Oh, yeah. center as much. Did they ever fix the fuel glitch on this game? The fuel glitch? Oh, when we were playing Wait. multiplayer and it, uh... And we, no one could get fuel? Yeah, I have no idea. I don't think we really... Aside from doing the mod reviews that we've that we've done, we haven't really played the game to play the game, mm -hmm. which is kind of a shame. This is really the first wow. time I've gotten back to doing doing that in this game, but we haven't gotten we haven't tried any of that yet, so I have no idea whether or not the that fuel refueling issue has been taken care of. I would hope it has. Well, so far we haven't taken any damage with this truck. Well, I haven't. I, uh, I have. have. On the way out to go pick up some supplies, I, I beat the shit out of my suspension something hard. So... My overall review so far is, other than the fact that it's got an incredibly small fuel tank, it's, excuse me, it's doing about what you would expect a truck to do in the game of SnowRunner. That makes any sense. I mean, yeah, it's not, it's not doing too bad with, uh, getting through stuff and on it's decently on par with fuel usage with most of the other trucks in the game um yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to agree with you on that one um uh, yeah, I just really feel like for what it is, it should have a bigger fuel tank than that. Um, I feel like... I feel like it should have a passenger side fuel tank as well. Um, At least like 120 gallons yeah. instead of the 80 that it's given us? Well, if it had a passenger side fuel tank, then it would be 160, but yeah. Oh, well, yeah. You know, because math and shit. Well... Nope, just took my first bit of damage. Just trying to keep wide so I could 
Did my trailer around that corner there, and it right did not like the uh, did not like the pole that I just kissed. Yeah, this isn't doing too bad. I wonder, uh, what's that the truck that's your favorite? The Lodestar or something like that? Yeah, the International Lodestar. Yeah. Uh, it's about the same, honestly. Uh, was, the only difference is, is that I've maxed this truck out on upgrades, and there's still upgrades that I have not unlocked on the Lone Star. Gotcha. Yeah, because the way that this thing is performing, I'm, I'm curious on... It's per side by side performance to the international. If if it's close to or or better, I feel like the uh, the international. I'd be able to out upgrade the upgrade this truck. Does that make sense? With all the upgrades, you're wondering if that if the, the international would actually outperform this. Well, yeah, I think that because. My international is probably about halfway upgraded to what I can do with it maximum. Mm -hmm. I'm negotiating these turns right now, by the way. Um, so it's about half upgraded to what I can do for its oh, maximum, me. and it's doing about the same of what this truck can do. Okay. This fucking trailer follows really fucked up. Full disclosure, in real life, those back two axles on that trailer probably would turn. And the, the steering seems a little laggy on this. Well, that, that kind of is just the way this game is, the steering is. No, because remember we turned it, we turned our sensitivity up. Remember Nick showed us how to do that. Oh yeah, a long time ago. Even still though, the yeah. the, tearing, the steering's always been slow. Although we're we're more used to instantaneous reaction from the wheels from Grand Theft Auto. And snow runner, or not a uh, snow runner with farming simulator. Yeah. God damn. This fucking trailer, man. <laughs> Just having a fucking time back here. Pumping that pole with every single one of your tires on the side of that trailer. Mm-hmm. I'm just dragging my Fumunda cheese over here. Hey, look, we got more <laughs> parts here. Oh, so yeah, we, we probably had trailers out. and other shit from the last time we were playing. Yeah, but well, I mean, nothing would fuel up, so... That's a concrete slab and a metal beam. This game... Oh, you're, you're going to fuck up, yourself on up. those on those barriers. Yeah. Here, go around. Can you get, get around the concrete block on, the, on your side of that and get around to my left-hand side? On the left-hand side of the pumps or on same side that you are yes on the left hand side of the pumps but you're past that point so get your fuel and pass oh yeah that works too don't drag your trailer across them pumps because we're gonna have that grind up bottle effect here where everybody's dying <laughs> Well, I filled up, so. Guess that fixed that, huh? Well, that that's still up in the air because we didn't really have that issue until after we were playing for like three or four hours with Nick trying to get through, getting one load of any materials across the map. Well, we've got about thirty minutes of trying to get the damn load across this map right now. Oh, shit. 
Almost ate the shit out of back into you there, sir. I was starting to slow down because I thought you were going to try to pull in the, the fuel station a different way, but... No, I've already got my fuel. Alright. Hey, don't we normally go through the railroad tracks? We do. At that point? I don't remember where we get up, I don't know. Right back there by the fuel island? Was it? You, yeah, you remember you go in and you get fuel and then you come out of the fuel station and just go straight across the highway down through the ditch? I mean, it's all good. I mean, we're past the point of commitment now. You just kind of, kind of got to just, like, mob through this, you know what I mean? See, this is, this is where that <laughs> OBS Ford would come in handy because we can just fucking wrench through it and just pull ourselves. Yeah, that's true. The railroad tracks are right here. Are they? Yeah. Well, judging off those angles, I'm not going to make that shit, so I'm just going to keep on keeping on here. I've actually never gone this way because I was the one who found the railroad tracks, remember? Yeah, I've taken a number of the, the heavier vehicles that I have um, through that that mud down where you're trying to plow through right now. Actually, if I remember correctly, the first time that you and I came through this map, we didn't get to the railroad tracks until we got right up uh, just ahead of where I am now. I think you're not remembering correctly. Here, stay there. Right there. Don't move. Get them brakes. I'm gonna see if I can come right up here. With this fucking trailer, man. The reason why I wanted you there is because if I can get my truck up on these tracks, maybe you can winch to the tail end of my trailer and drag it around for me. You oh, know what I mean? Yeah, I got what you mean. So that way I don't high center. I don't think you would anyways because you're going to be going. I've got it steered all the way to the left, and I've had it steered all the way to the left for quite some time now. Yeah, no, I, I saw that. It's, it's no Can consequence of the way that you're driving. It's just... the winch pull strong. Right. I thought I'd just try to give you a little bit of hand getting the back end this way. That was kind of weird that it started tipping like that because I was off of the, the very back right corner. So I don't know why your left must, end started must coming have up. Hit something. Must have hit something hard. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where the tire couldn't slide up on it. Oh, you know what a downside to being up here on the railroad tracks is? You don't get to fucking be in any kind of an angle that's comfortable? No, I have to cross thread that fucking tiny asshole to get off of the railroad tracks. You remember? Oh, yeah. That tiny ass fucking hole. Yep. Yeah, we've done it before. Man, this truck does not want to fucking straddle these tracks, does it? I don't think any truck does on on this My particular map. My international Paystar does fucking fantastic. Oh, okay. And yes, I'm going to compare everything to that because I have 
the most miles behind the steering wheel of that international fucking pay star. Oh, I'm, and you I'm, have to admit that. I'm plenty <laughs> aware of that one. That's That's been your That's favorite something. truck since we first got the game and you first discovered it. It's just responded the best. You know, it's, it, it's had the best amount of horsepower torque, the best uh, fuel economy r ratio, pull the horsepower and torque, it's hauled the most load, you know, it's pulled the best trailers, it turned the yep. um, I can take it all the way down to two-wheel drive, I can take it all the way up to diff lock. And I just really like some of those features, you know? Yeah. No, it's m arguably my favorite truck has definitely got to be the Azovs. Yeah. And I don't care that they're foreign trucks or anything like that, but I, I do enjoy them. I like the fuel economy is pretty start. good. It's power to weight. Once it's modded. Nice. Yeah, I'm not going to make that in my. Oh, I made it. What the fuck? That's pretty cool. How are you doing back there, sir? Not terrible. Hell of a lot Anything? slower getting through there than you were. But, uh... Oh, no, I wasn't. I was real slow. I was hitting everything, dude. I caused a, a shit ton of engine damage, everything. Well, that, that may be true. Um, hey. You were still pulling away from me. When you come over this way, when you get where I'm at, yeah, look, look to your left. Oh, my trailer's going to be pulled around. Oh, is that, uh, that caterpillar yep. still here? Yeah. Can you drag my trailer around? That winch cable snap, or? Yeah, it snapped. Stay where you're at. I might be able to get, a, get around you. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Well, you got chains on your tires. That's why you're having all these fucking problems. Tire chains don't do good unless you're in the, mu in the snow. That's true. Remember, we learned that on the fucking International. That's why you're having all the problems. They're not on the International, it was a Western Star. The twin steer? The quad axle? Yeah. Just kicked it in the high gear right at the bottom of that hill. Where am I supposed to go here? To the right, right? Yeah, to the right. Okay. Let me drag down that pole there. Give me the beat, boys, and free my soul. I want to get lost in your booty hole and drift away. high gear. Oh, it's about to start stalling. I'm going to let it stall, too. No, it's not stalling, dude. It's just sitting there chugging. Two tires are spinning. You got diff on. Oh, you don't even have your diff on. No. There it goes. Finally got it to stall. I don't know how 
to push for it, but I'm going to be backing up. I'm trying to swing this thing wide here. Far enough away that that little bit that you just did didn't make, make any difference. I don't think this is going to be wide enough, but I'm going to keep fucking sending it and find out. Right, I've got that back that corner on your trailer, so I'm just pushing. Yeah, I think you helped me, sir. Like how this fucking sign up here says 40 mile an hour. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Even 40 kilometers an hour. Lucky to be doing four miles an hour here. You know, all in all, these trucks were not that bad. No. How do we unload them? Um, when you go into the, into the red, yeah, or? open the stair house or the storehouse. No, 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 not in the red. Not unless you're doing manual, which we don't have cranes. No. So, um, but when you're in the the storehouse menu, uh, you can hit your right or left trigger or unloading cargo. Okay. And then we need to get some more shit in order to do. Yeah, so that just allows us to pick up these materials here, but also use them to build the cabins and stuff as we need. you're doing I don't know what the fuck I'm doing either we've already had plenty enough discussions over the fact that I have no fucking clue how to drive these goddamn dolly trailers the wiggle wagons they're yeah. counter counter intuitive so if you want the trailer to go to the left turn to the left and then follow it around really quickly yeah even still with you telling me that that's how to do it I, I've tried what I okay, well, why don't you, you try and get the fuck out of my way? Doesn't fucking work, so. At least not for me. For What's some reason, I just, I cannot grasp the idea of how to get these things to fucking work properly. They're still gonna be in my way right there, Josh. <laughs> So I am going to back this trailer up over here, I think. This trailer folds around, follows around really fucking lazily. Where'd you go? I was heading back over this way just to make sure that I was clearly out of your way. Head back to the other um, railroad track spot. I'm going to leave this trailer right up here. It's here if we need it. You know how to back up a trailer in real life, don't you? Um, single point of rotation trailer like what you've got right there, yeah. 
whether it's on a hitch or, or whatever, as long as it's not these wiggle wagons, yeah, I can back them up, no problem. I just, real life or video game, I cannot operate these fucking wiggle wagons unless I'm going forward. I, I for some reason, I just cannot get it through my head on how the hell these work. Although I've, I've never tried in real life, so maybe if I actually did mess with them in real life, I might understand better on how to operate it, but... interesting theory you got there, Saul's boss. I mean, there's some concepts that you can get in a simulator that that don't translate as well if you've got your hands on it, but I'm also a very tactile learner. that fucking wall that's right behind you. Oh, that's true. I'm picking up a trailer right now, so... I'm grabbing this one that was over here in this entrance. Didn't that, uh... You... Go ahead. The same as the other trailer that, that you just dropped off? How many concrete blocks do we need for this mission? Uh, concrete blocks we need four, but concrete slabs we only need two. Concrete blocks need four? four concrete blocks and I still have some trailer left over so let's see if we have slabs we have one left no beams consumables all right so if you want to grab what is this over here are these concrete slabs are these metal beams no. Um. There are. Yeah, I just need, uh. I got four concrete blocks. I just need two slabs. So if you want to grab that lull and load up one of those slabs, or one more slab, I'm going to grab that load and load up, uh. The last little bit of slab there. Um. That would be nice. But, uh. At least I can all throw you a winch cable. And this thing's kind of stuck and glitched in the wall. trying to get it out of here. Jesus.
thing's thoroughly stuck. All four wheels on the ground. Okay. Back up. Okay, backing up. Trying to back up right now, but not much I can do about it. Well, looks like we just recover that. We'll just grab a truck and bring it back. It's got a damn uh, uh, crane on it. Can't recover a vehicle that doesn't belong to me. Okay. Recover. Except, are you out of it? Yeah, I'm out of it. Uh, so... All right, folks. Well, it's been real. It's been fun. But it hasn't been real fun. I don't know. I really got to come up with something better to say. <laughs> yeah, we got to do something that. different. That's for oh, sure. That's not what I was looking for. Um... All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to leave us some feedback. Hit that like button, and we'll see you guys in the next video.